Apple has just launched the iOS 18.2 beta to developers. And in this new update actually comes a lot of the Apple intelligence features that we didn't have in iOS 18.1. So we now finally have access to features like Image Playground, Genmoji, Image Wand, and even the chat GPT integration. And so in this video, I'm gonna go hands-on with those new features. And of course, I do wanna preface by saying it is again in beta. And so there are going to be potentially any bugs or whatever the case may be. But again, it's a beta, so we will cut it some slack. I have already actually tried out some of the new features. And the first thing you'll do is if you decide to do the beta again and you update, um, you will actually have to request Image Playground and Genmoji. And if you do one of those, it'll request it for all of it. And then you'll get a notification saying that those things are available for me. I requested it and within about 10 to 15 minutes, I did get the notification. That might not be the same for everybody. So if you're trying to do this right away, I would suggest doing that and requesting it ASAP. Okay, so let's talk about these new features. And the first thing I tried was Image Playground. And um, some of the results are certainly interesting. I think it does a really good job, even though I don't love the way it looks, but with people, I did myself. It was a recommendation option. And it gives me some really ridiculous caricatures of myself, uh, but they do seem kind of accurate. And so, yeah, uh, as you're seeing here, of course, be sure to comment, let me know what you think. But you can go ahead and enter in any prompt or you can choose from any of the pre-existing options and it will go ahead and generate an image for you. Apple will suggest costumes, locations, items, and more to add to an image. And these concepts are intelligent and can draw inspiration from a messages thread or content in the notes app. So once you add in a few prompts and you pick whatever it is that you want, you'll see a few different previews that you can cycle through. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you wanna get some new options for you. And then you can also just remove different parts of the prompt if you want to or start over. But once you get everything settled, you just go ahead and hit done and then it'll insert it into you know the note or the message that you have open and ready for that image to get sent to. Uh, and yeah, I think it works pretty well. There are some things that might not work out and it even says like some prompts will give you unexpected results. Um, you can't really do, I'm guessing anything inappropriate. I haven't even tried, but I'm guessing anything inappropriate or obscene is not going to work. I tried with Genmoji, um, I tried to do, and even with Image Playground, you know, using characters like Mickey Mouse. Uh, it wouldn't do Mickey Mouse, but if I said a mouse riding a unicycle, it would do that no problem. Uh, you know, I did outlandish things and it seems to have worked pretty well, I guess. Uh, but yeah, you can have fun with it. I think the people aspect really um, could spice up a conversation and make things a little bit more personal and more fun. Uh, and especially with Genmoji. And Genmoji, you kind of want to use as little prompts as possible. I tried to get like dual thumbs up or dual thumbs down. That didn't quite work. But if I added myself into it, it worked out. I asked it to, you know, make a uh, Gen Moji of me eating sushi, and it gave me some pretty crazy options, me driving a car. Uh, and you can do that with other people, not just yourself. It'll pull through your photos library and you have an option to select different people in your family. For me and this video, I'm only gonna subject myself to that, but it'll be fun and interesting to test out throughout the days and weeks with other people and see how that goes. And if you're curious, I messaged my Android friends some of these horrific images and they uh, sent back what a screenshot, you know, of on their end, what it looked like. And it looks the exact same. So happy to report that it doesn't mess up anything. Image wand is going to be much of the same deal. You're just gonna circle an area on, you know, for this example, I use notes. It was a blank note, but I gave it a little circle. And then I typed in like the Capitol building. I think that was something that they did for the presentation, but it's just what's popped into my mind. So if you're doing a report in, you know, Keynote or Pages or whatever, and you're doing with something on the Capitol building. I typed in Capitol building. It gave me a great illustration of that. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, and so, yeah, it works really well. And you can insert that into your documents and kind of make things a little bit more, again, fresh and exciting. With the Siri chat GPT integration, I do want to preface this by saying you don't have to use it. And in fact, it does not come uh, turned on. You actually have to enable it yourself. And even if you get into a moment where you ask Siri something and it's like, hey, I need to resort to chat GPT, it will ask you every single time. But even if it's your first time, it'll ask you to set that up. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. I think I, I asked uh, chat GPT what I was looking at and it took a screenshot and asked to do that. And then it gave me um, what I was looking at. And that was super helpful. And yeah, uh, I think you can use this within writing tools as well. So you can do this um, 
pretty easily and it'll be even more interesting and intriguing to not only do it on your phone but your ipad and your mac i think that's where it's really going to shine and be helpful ios 18.2 also brings visual intelligence to those who have a iphone 16 or 16 pro and you have the camera control button you just long press on the camera control button it'll hop right into the visual intelligence layout and you'll see a prompt if it's your first time but then you just go ahead and take a picture of whatever it is that you're looking at for me i did the rock and hall of fame which is right outside my building here and um it didn't quite give me the information i was looking at when i did it a as a google search but you can also ask chat gpt which should do a better job of giving you more of the relevant information but it kind of just did a re reverse google image search basically and it showcased the correct building but it didn't like give me links to the rock and roll hall of fame which was a little interesting i will obviously do more and more testing with this um but this is just a very brief hands-on as this just launched today and that was the first thing that i could you know kind of see and lastly i want to briefly touch on some of the writing tools changes in ios 18.2 apple is enhancing the writing tools feature to add an option to make more open-ended changes so you can describe in a prompt the tone or the content change that you want to make you can add more action words or you can turn an email into a poem if you want to but you can go ahead and be really specific in the prompt and hopefully and again it'll add that keyword here for today which is like zest and fun and make your writing whatever it is email message document note more impactful and have the very specific changes that you laid out in the prompt. And so that's a quick brief look of all of the changes for Apple intelligence that comes with iOS 18.2. We haven't even talked about the non Apple intelligence features, if any, haven't had a chance to check those out, but we'll do a full video or some shorts on the channel and social media. So be sure to subscribe and follow those accounts if you haven't already done so. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.